Shalom, <clears throat> real quick, giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Makagutash. Shalom to the whole elect out there. I'm gonna make this quick. This is a video. This is my notifications because I subscribe to Cross the Line Radio. Uh, Captain Tazarak versus the Harai Salam. Multiple wives is it permitted by the scriptures? So I'm hearing this guy. Anyway, did I give the title? The title is Christians are just stupid. And, and don't know the scriptures. Anyway, I'm just going to, let me, I brought it back. Let me bring it back some more. These, these people don't understand the scriptures. Flesh. Not day three. You can't do three. You can't do two. You can't do Can it. It's already shut can. down. Can you show we, me We're going into it. Yeah. yeah. We're going to give you some other, we're going okay, we gonna, no we gonna to get into Appreciate the, we're going to get it, like you were saying, we're getting into adultery. All right. We're going into some adultery. Well, what right? is, so well, what is it? Go, okay. Okay. Now, what is adultery? Okay. We want to say what is adultery? Adultery, if you if you um if you basically cheat and mess around and sleep with an and marry another woman or sleep with another woman, why you Christians don't know shit about the Bible. That's a new series. Christians, Christians don't know shit about the Bible. This guy, this clown right here is saying if you marry a woman with a woman, you see another woman left after her, that's adultery. Because you're cheating on your woman. You don't, you don't cheat on your woman. Solomon had a thousand women. David had many, many women. The men of Israel had many, many women. In the kingdom, we're going to have many, many women. That's why we're going to bring back the nation quick. Because one man could have a thousand women. Mary, you could make is that what the Bible is that what the Bible is that what the Bible says? This is what the scripture is saying when, when it's saying that if you leave your wife and you if you if you put away your wife right and you go mm -hmm. and marry another you commit adultery, brother. Can you show me in the so law why, what adultery is? Just say that if you leave your wife without uh, under the outside of fornication, which is adultery, you cause your wife to commit adultery. It doesn't mean you commit adultery. You cause your wife to commit adultery. You can't leave her without a cause. In other words, the cause is if she's caught in the act of adultery, um, then you can leave her. But you can't leave her. If she get, makes you mad, if she does this, you can't leave her. You got to stay with her. That's what Yahweh Shai said. Now, it also said, is it going to be in this, this video, that if you have a wife, this is what this guy said. It doesn't understand the scriptures. This is why it's a waste of time dealing with Christians, especially unlearned Christians. I'm, you got scholars out there that give a better article, or, or, argument, excuse me. This guy doesn't know what's going on. He's a church goer. He said, if you have a wife, you look at another woman and lust after her, that's adultery. That's not adultery unless the woman's married. Well, okay, so adultery, what I mean. we just said with adultery. Go ahead. You can no, that, say your no, meaning you for said, adultery. I just, no, no. Well, no. It, I just it, gave mine. Said, I, I, gave, I gave my meaning for it. You know it. what I like about the Bible? The, the scriptures say, if any man speak, let him speak as the uh, scriptures have said. So if I look, so Exodus 20 right. and 14, it's perfect. So Exodus 20 and 14 says, thou shalt not commit adultery. Now, to get the okay. definition of adultery, Leviticus 20 and 10 says, and the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife that's what adultery is. That's like if somebody sleeps with my wife, they commit adultery. But if somebody, if a man has a wife and gets another woman who's single, that's not adultery. Absolutely. That's another, that's a second wife. That's a second wife. It's a complete waste of time. You know what it's like? You have a four-year-old child. You, a five-year-old child, you decide to tell them there's no Santa Claus. Do you know how much pushback you're going to get from your child? because your child is not mature enough to understand that concept. If you say, you know, well, my tooth fell out. Um, I know I'm gonna get a, a, a quarter or whatever it is, a dollar. Back then it was a dime with us. And you know, with inflation is talking about a dollar, five dollars. You get up and you pull the pillow back and you have a dime. Yo, oh, shit, I got a dime, the tooth fairy came. So now let's say this ch child puts his tooth under the tooth, the, the pillow, the tooth is still there. They're going to start asking, where the hell is the tooth, tooth fairy? The tooth fairy don't exist. It's your mother. Your mother's a tooth fairy. 
But if you explain it to a look, there's no tooth fairy. I'm the one that put it in there. Ah, I don't want to ask. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Well, they're not going to say all that. You tell them there's no such thing as Santa Claus. There's no such thing as Easter eggs and Easter bunnies. All right? Easter eggs don't, bunnies don't lay eggs and color them and put them anywhere. He's going to cry or she's going to cry because they're, because um, intellectually, they're not smart enough to, you got to grow intellectually. These people, these Christians are, the, the average everyday church going Christian are stuck on stupid. Let's listen to a little bit more. Brother, that's adultery, brother. Okay, so it's Jake. Mary. So did Jake. It's not adultery. It's not adultery. Adultery is when you lay with a man. When you, when you, I'm sorry, when you lay with a woman that's married to another man. If the man dies, that's no longer adultery. But while he liveth, Romans 7, if, if, if a man lays with that woman, she, he, both of them commit adultery. And the penalty of that is death. But churches don't understand. Jacob committed adultery. He was married. Well, now you're going into the old. You're talking about these, these men of God, that, that God yeah, permitted they, it? I told you it was permitted in the old. I agree with that. Okay, so you said it was permitted in the old. Where was it not permitted in the new? All throughout the scriptures, the, our Lord said, and Moses said this. He kept references, referencing Moses. Uh, Paul kept ref referencing Moses. Uh, Peter, the, the Lord told the disciples them when they said, you make yourself equal with God. He said, does not your Lord say that ye are gods? So, so he kept going back to the law. It was lawful in the old, but it's, this when, thing when is not become, lawful when, in the new covenant. Okay, when did it's it become? Not. Can you show me where it became unlawful? Let's go. Let's go to yeah, Matthew. Show, show me a law. Yeah, go, let's, let's go, go to, to Matthew. Matthew 19 and 7. Mm. Facts. Listen, let's hurry up and get there. Matthew 19. Let's go. You want to go to 7 or you want to get the subject? Captain Desariak, you need to stop beating up these little kids and taking their milk money. Stop beating up these little kids. These are kids. These guys, and this guy, he's he don't know what's going on. He's a disciple of uh, Geno Jennings. And Geno Jennings don't want to um, debate Israelites. So these guys come along, and Geno Jennings got enough sense to know that he'll get a spiritual ass whipping if he does. He knows some things. I give him, I give him credit, but he doesn't understand. He that's all. This look coming against the Israelites, the former one Westers. That's a whole new level. There's a whole new, there's levels to this thing. Yeah, let's get the subject. You carry it up. No sweat. So in Matthews 19, I'm going to read verse 3. You let me know when you get there. Because this is not about a more than one wife. Yeah. Okay, this is not about well, more well, than we, one wife. No. This is well, the body bag session. I just want you to know, this is not about more than one wife. This is about divorce. But you... But you just, we were speaking, we, we, we carried into adultery, brother. Right. Adultery, yes. All right. But you can see this guy can't even spell theological seminary, let alone walk past one. You can see he's just a corner store uh, Christian or whatever. He's just a guy that goes to church. He's not no, you, you know, like you deal with these Christian scholars, like I deal with the uh, commentary. They'll reference, well, this is from the Greek word meaning this, and that's from the Hebrew word reading, meaning that. He doesn't know the Hebrew. He doesn't know how to, he, can, he, can, he can't point, point Jerusalem on the map. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't, if I said, well, who's, since you know the Bible upside down, backwards and forwards, uh, name uh, Abraham's father. I don't think he'd be able to name that. You know? But this is, you this carried, is not a... We carried it, but we carried it into adultery. You going, if you speak about wives and husbands, mm -hmm. or, if you speak about wives and husbands, this man is not no expert in the scriptures. He's not no expert in the scriptures. And, and Captain Desiree, stop beating up these little kids. He's, stop beating up on these on these mental midgets. Adultery, adultery and fornication 
He even said adultery. He said adultery, adultery and fornication is going to be mentioned mm -hmm. because these things is going to prohibit you from being. These things are going to, not is going to. These things is going to prohibit you. Being able to even have another wife. Now, another thing, but let me ask you a question, brother. Right, All right, right. Now, today's day, like you said, you, 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 you believe you can have multiple wives, all right? And that the, the it's not about a belief is what the scriptures say. Now, the apostle Paul spoke about not having no wives, but he also said, if you if, rather have a wife than to burn, and he says, he goes on to say, in his present dis the distress, he said, it's best to be like me, have no, no wife. You can be more dedicated to the truth. If you got to have a wife, have one wife in this present distress. Because in the kingdom, we're going to have multiple wives. Like I said, that kingdom is going to be like the sands, uh, the sands of the, the stars of the heaven and the sands of the sea that shall not be uh, measured or numbered. That's how the kingdom's going to be. Because we're going to, hey, like uh, this guy said uh, from the movie True Romance, what's this, what's this dude? He died, an actor. Somebody help me out. Anyway, he said they did so much effing that they changed the whole, um, they're talking about Sicily. He changed uh, all of Sicily because the Moors were popping them Edomite women down in South uh, Italy, really the islands. So the same thing's going to happen when we get in the kingdom. We're going to be popping everything that moves that's a woman that's not dealing with a man. So you're going to get up in the morning, you're going to pop somebody, or pop a woman. The afternoon, you're going to pop a different woman. Later that day, you're going to pop another woman. Later that evening, you're going to pop, you're going to pop a couple of um, uh, concubines. You know, whether you do it, once, you, whether you pop a different work, a woman every day, or you pop multiple women in a day, they're all going to get... Uh, they're all going to be pregnant. So the nations, so one man tells you that in Isaiah 60, one man shall become a thousand and a small one, a great nation. Why? Because they're going to be doing a lot of popping. They're going to be doing, doing a lot of popping. So this man inside of a month, he might have, he might have laid with a thousand women. All the women are pregnant. Nine months later, 10 months later, you got how many? If, there, if there's no twins, right? Because you had twins too. But let's say each woman had a child. He had a thousand women in a month. That's a thousand children. And then let's say you got a man that got, that got 2,000 women, wives and concubines and so forth. He popping every last one of them day after day. All of them are going to be... Um, all of them are going to be pregnant, and in nine, ten months, how many children are you going to have? You're going to have at least 2,000 children. Then you're going to be popping some more women. You're going to keep them, like it is the old saying, barefoot and pregnant. Barefoot and pregnant is going to happen a lot in the kingdom. You're going to be bare, barefoot and pregnant. Inside joke. Bare, that's an actual song from the movie Bamboozled. Barefoot and pregnant. That's what they're going to be, barefoot and pregnant, because they're going to be in the house, in the castle. And you're just going to pop them. You're going to pop them. You're going to pop another one. You're going to pop another one. And then before you know it, one man sh shall be what? A strong one man shall be a thousand, and a small one a strong nation, meaning you're going to have a lot of sex, because you're going to have a lot of women, and you're going to have a lot of children. So. Let's say 20 years go by. You're going to have so many children, you're not going to know your children because you're going to have servants over them children, man. One man going to have 10,000 children. That's my daddy right there. 10,000 children, boys and girls that grew up, and they had children. What do you, what do you think the sons are going to do? They're going to have multiple wives and concubines. So... Israel is going to be so big. That's why it says in Isaiah 54 that the earth is going to expand. And the most I said, I believe it's Isaiah 52, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's 51. It said, I will plant thee in the heavens. So 
uh, the Lord said in uh, St. John, the 14th chapter, he said, I go, um, I, I go up, uh, prepare a place. Many, I have many mansions and I go and prepare a place for you. Where do you go? In, up, in, up in space, up in the spiritual realm. So we're going to, Esau goes, you know, not, knows how to go to space. We're going to go beyond Esau. <clears throat> and there probably are at, uh, planets that, that are inhabited, man. Esau is telling you that. But the earth is going to grow. And we're going to be doing a lot of screwing, man. We're going to make up for lost time. Everything that moves, that's a woman that's, that's not married to another man, you're going to pop her. And you ain't going to court her. You're going to take her home. You, you're going to have servants bringing in women for you to pop. They're going to be looking good. Go back to Esther. What is that? Esther. Is that Esther 2 and 12? Matter of fact, let's go to that. Let's go to that. Captain Desiree, stop beating up these mental midgets. Uh, Esther, we went through this the other day. And I'll close. Esther. Esther, I believe it's 2, two verse 12, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Now in every now in every maid's now the word maid uh means a virgin, a woman that's not been touched. So so the king goes got new women and they were young. Turn was come to go into the king Assurus, which is uh which is uh Xerxes in the movie three hundred, the big tall guy with the jewelry on, that was Zer that was Hacerus. After that, she had been 12 months according to the manner of the woman uh, for so were the days of their purification accomplished to which so they so these women when they when they hit 11 12 years old they were prepared to lay with the king now they showed you in that movie was it mandingo it was either mandingo or drums where they had to prepare a woman the fat mama the ma the mammy had to prepare a black woman to lay with the master. And then she was bathed in a patchouli because Esau liked patchouli, that smell, terrible smell, but Esau likes it. So she said, this is terrible, this smells terrible. He said, yeah, but the master like it. They like, they like that smell. And uh, what other movie? There's, there's many movies that show you that. It says six months with oil of myrrh and uh, set, uh, six months with sweet odors and and with other things for the what? Purifying of the woman, meaning she was disease free. Remember coming to America, the original, she's your queen to be. It said free of infection. Whatever the, 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 the lyrics. In other words, she was, she, you're going to pop a woman that's never been popped. You know what I'm saying? And it says maids. Let me, go, let me go to the word maids. Okay, the word here is Naira. Naira. Girl. Meaning a young girl, a girl that that uh, experienced um, a puberty, damsel, female servant, girl, damsel, little girl, of young of young woman, marriageable young woman, concubine, prostitute, maid, female attendant, female servant. And you got that word male or damsel a damsel a maid is not a woman that's 35 years old with a bunch of children that's not a maid a maid is a young woman of marriageable age that no, usually was experienced the uh pubic puberty it says damsel maiden maid young young woman 
Because that's when you got them. You got them when they were, when they experienced puberty, meaning the father would hold them. They're 11 years old. You can see they growing breasts and they're growing in shape and they um, experienced their first period. So the mother or the servant, the, 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 the maid servant tells her, well, that means you're a woman now. You, you, you just became a woman. Same thing happened with, with boys. You go through puberty, that means you uh, can be a man. That means you can give, you can impregnate somebody. A boy at the age of 11 and 12 can impregnate a woman. All right? So when does a girl become a woman? A girl becomes a woman when, she, when, when her body changes. So now what does the father do? The father says, oh, she done changed. Let me hide her. And let me, let me, let me look to see a, a qualified man to deal with her. A man that was well established, that was rich, and that was wise, and he would, and he might hold it for a year, and then say, "Okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let this man that I'm doing business with get my daughter, and uh, to wife." See, you, you Christians don't understand that, man. Let me come back over here and listen to a little bit more of this nonsense. The new covenant in the New Testament, which you haven't proven that we can have more than one wife. In the, the new, hey, when the new the kingdom come, when the New Testament and the new covenant come, that's going to be the fulfillment of this. I, I quoted it, so let me go ahead and read it. Isaiah 60. They don't realize that the majority of these prophecies in the Old Testament are pointing to the kingdom, which is yet to come. Like right here, uh, Isaiah 60. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Isaiah 61, it talks about how they're going to be our slaves. They're going to work for us. Okay, this is the kingdom. This is in the kingdom. 20th verse. The sun shall no more go down. You, what does it mean by the sun shall no more go down? It means that our kingdom, our rulership is not going to go down. Our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. World without end. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. Meaning we're going to be super wise. For your hour shall be thine everlasting light. And the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Now that goes hand in hand with Revelation chapter 21. It says the, the father is going to dwell among men. And that he's going to wipe our tears. Um, the people also shall be all righteous. That's in the kingdom. We're going to be righteous. So we're going to be without sin. Uh, they shall inherit the land that's in the, when the kingdom comes. So the kingdom is going to be on the earth forever, forever. The word there is I will um, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands that I may be glorified. A little one, a little one means a little insignificant guy that's, that's an Israelite shall become a thousand. So what do you think a prominent guy in the kingdom is going to have? You're going to have more than a little guy. He said one little guy, one little insignificant Israelite shall become a thousand. What does that mean? They're going to have many, many, many thousands of children. And a small one, a strong nation. I, Yahweh, will hasten it in, in his time. It's talking about the kingdom. Now, to be fair, let's go to... Let's go to uh, Isaiah 60, verse 22. Let's go to Cambridge. A little one, a small one. Uh, better, perhaps, the least, the smallest, the word for thousands. Uh, Alap, which is the first, which is the ah. Uh, means also a large or smaller group of families, clan, or tribe. This is doubtless the, the, the sense in which it is employed here, comp, 
the parallel nation in the next line will hasten in its time. The fulfillment shall be instantaneous when once the appointed time has arrived. The reference is to the whole of the proceeding prophecy. And the prophecy is the, is the kingdom coming. The prophecy is the kingdom coming. So let me come back over here. Let me listen to a little, little bit more. New covenant. You haven't showed not one scripture that permitted us to have more than one wife. All you got to do is go to the Old, the Old Testament. The prophecies in the, the majority of the prophecies in the Old Testament point to the kingdom of heaven. One wife in the new covenant. Now, sure now check this out. Okay. Okay. I, but but I want to ask you this question. Okay. You got a wife. You got to say you had a wife, right? I don't get mm -hmm. into your personal life. No, that's just, fine. Just, it's yeah. hypothetical. Right. It's hypothetical. You yeah. good? Mm -hmm. All right. Say, say you had one wife, right? All right. So then, so you saying that it's okay to look at the other, another woman and, and want her to be your wife too? Mm -hmm. And is that other woman single? And want to have her? Uh, yeah, she's single. Yeah, she's sing sing There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. Listen, I did a lecture called How to Share Your Man. So you can do that, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you can do that. Yeah. All right. That. So, okay. So, so why did Jesus say that if you look, Mm. So, so now, now you, so you running from, so, wait, so, so you wait. don't want to do Matthew 19, no, no. you want to go to Matthew 5, because we were in Matthew 19. No, this was this, no, no, because you just answered the question. You said you going to look, if you got you a wife, you can look at another one and want her, all right? So now you just said you will look at another one and lust for her. I didn't Wanting say lust. lust. You can lust for her. Lust means you have feelings for she look good, so she's looking good. Look at that. Look at her angles, her legs, her shape. Look at her hair. Look at her breasts. I do that every all day, every day, man. <laughs> Less than half the woman. Now, if I know that the woman's married, I'm, I'm, I'll look, I'll look away. But you can look at a woman to lust out there, even if you got a wife. If she ain't, if she ain't married, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can talk to the woman and get with the woman. There's nothing wrong with that. When you get with a woman, you get with a woman because you lust after a particular woman way they built for you, the way you like it. Brother, the one is lusting. So you want her, that's a lust, brother. So now, you lusting after right. to have her, to want her. Now, you committing adultery already, mm -hmm. and you ain't need, how you, how you gonna get another wife, mm -hmm. and you committing adultery by just wanting another woman when you have one already? Christians are fucking stupid, man. Christians are fucking stupid. How you okay. gonna have three? How you gonna have two? Okay, you want me to answer that now? Yeah. Okay. After I answer this, I want to get back to Matthews 19, and then we can go to Matthews 5. In the scenario that you presented, I had one woman. This is a single woman. She does not have a man at all. I cannot be committing adultery with her. Hold on. When you say one woman, say wife, brother. You got one wife. Oh, okay, no problem. Nigga, the word woman in the Hebrew is Ayasha, which means woman or wife. If you say Ayasha in the Hebrew, you don't know the Hebrew. Ayasha is a feminine form for Ayash, which is man. Ayasha is man. Ayasha is woman. The word, when you come across the word wife or woman in the heat in the, in the uh, New Old Testament, it's the same word, Ayasha. So you, this is my wife or this is my woman. I want to say how you want me to say it. I have a wife. I'm married to. Right. I'm married to her That's six dope. years. We six years strong. Got like two kids and we rocking. And then, whoa, wait, wait right. a second. This other sister, she come along and she... Oh, see, press. You want her too. <laughs> you want her too. Hey, y'all already you said. Y'all already right. said it. Captain Tazarek, stop beating up on these mental midgets. Say, ooh, I bet Bakari want another wife too. You married, brother? 
Are you married? Yeah, I'm married. Yeah, but I, you I, already know. Listen, the way, yeah, I, you, yeah, I, this all hypothetical because the way that brother said, "Woo!" The husband of one wife. Like he, I got you. So you're on the husband of one wife. No, I got you. I'm not saying you got more than one wife, but the way you said that, "Woo!" It sounds like you want more than one. But I'm gonna just let that go. So now this other woman. No, comes I'm just going off of you. <laughs> That's what you said. You, you, you no sweat, you no get sweat, her. no sweat, brother. So now, as this other woman comes. You said in your scenario, she's a single woman. Her as a single woman, I'm not committing adultery with her. Because Christ, remember, in Matthew, I'm not you can't commit adultery with a single woman. We read adultery is if you sleep with another man's woman. So in Matthew's the fifth chapter, and I want to make sure we come back to Matthew's 19. Mm -hmm. But let me give you the scripture. Brother, look, I'm about to give you the you scripture. Know that, you, okay. Go ahead. I'm going to give you the scripture saying, you know where that, you can have multiple a, wives in the New Testament. That's missing. That's I'm gonna misinterpreted give you the, in, mm -hmm. in Leviticus, my brother. Mm -hmm. Wait, so and I'm going to... That's not... I'm going to read you it again. You're missing. You miss it. No, you miss. Yeah, read it again because you're misinterpreting it. Okay, so I want you read to read it, it and get... I'm going to close. I can't hear no more of this, man. Anyway, I'm going to say Shalom.